Walter O'Brien is a computer security expert who, in his hacking days, went by the handle of Scorpion. Hey, Mark. And action. But he's now lending that handle and his past to the creation of a new CBS primetime drama. Walter, can you give me a little bit of an idea of how the show got started? Sure. The, um, the company's been around 25 years, and we have a harvesting department, rather than a HR department, to harvest IQ from the planet. And they're getting a it's getting harder and harder to find more geniuses. So we thought it'd be a great idea if we could tell our story and maybe have them find us. And then CSI's been on the air about 10 years now, and they've influenced a lot of kids to study chemistry and biology. So if we can do the same thing for kids studying computer science or artificial intelligence, it'll be a huge benefit to this country over the next eight years. Good. O'Brien is one of the world's leading experts when it comes to applying computer science and artificial intelligence to complex industry challenges. Hacking to me is really just a mentality. It's whether you're biohacking a body or hacking a technology system. It's a way of thinking outside the box, of seeing what's not there, of questioning assumptions, of going around the obvious. His first run-in with the law happened at a young age, just 13, when he worked his way into NASA computers to download space shuttle blueprints to hang on his wall. When I was 13 years old, I was a curious kid, and I got on the ARPANET before it was called the internet. And back then, 1987, the coolest thing to do was try and get any imagery any good, cool pictures on, on the computer you could. And I found an AutoCAD file on the ARPANET that was uh, very, very large, which meant it was very complex. So I managed to piece together the file, and it was the blueprints of the Spaceship Columbia. He was caught, but afterward helped them to improve their security. Homeland Security, we're looking for Walter O'Brien. Scorpion the Show follows the exploits of a fictional Walter O'Brien as he goes about creating what will become Scorpion Computer Services, which in the real world is a consulting firm with thousands of employees. Technology runs the world, software runs technology, and sometimes software goes very, very wrong. You have less than a minute. Which one is it? And humans, as we call them, have a 3% human error. And a lot of companies can't afford to be wrong 3% of the time anymore. So we close that 3% gap using some of the technologies, the AI we've developed that doesn't make mistakes to compensate for human error. You want to do something meaningful? Here's your chance. Scorpion has developed solutions for private firms and government entities, recently helping to identify the suspects in the Boston Marathon bombings purely by analyzing security footage. I'm going to rotate your cameras to It's harder to claim that you've stopped wars that you've never heard of because you stopped them. So you're trying to prove a negative. But things in the world in general will be a lot worse if there weren't people who are really, really dedicated and they don't sleep and they don't go home till the problem's fixed. We're in. Scorpion premieres on September 22nd, and while episodes may take some liberties with the truth, Walter hopes the focus on tech will be enough to inspire a new generation of computer scientists. My name is Walter O'Brien, and I'm a genius.